We are with L. Zeidenfeld and Tom Rao um, outside of the WPT <laughs> Mandalay Bay Tournament. Um, what are you guys doing here today? Railing. Yeah, just here to watch people play poker, see what some good players do. And both of you are pretty well known in the poker community. Uh, <laughs> Um, what do you guys like most about uh, you know the tournament circuit and uh, playing online as a lip for a living? Uh, the bad beats, personally, I think that they're pretty stellar. Uh, not, I just like to play, I like to compete, I love to come out and see what I can do and see how far I can get in some of these tournaments. I like to gamble. <laughs> not me. I'm not a gambler, personally. What? <laughs> So then, that's, Tom. That's a lie. I think. <laughs> Small sarcasm. So, Tom, what might be uh, one of the craziest things that you've gambled on recently? Then. I don't know. Uh, Away from the poker table. Uh, between the sheets sounds real bad, but really, it's not. It's not so bad. <laughs> uh, Tiger Woods golf, PlayStation Three, and a lot of lunches and dinners. I guess. Nothing too wild. What about you, Al? Uh, I throw a dollar or two around on the craps table, but you know, very small size. And what, uh, what's maybe the best thing that the poker lifestyle has uh, brought both of you? <laughs> uh, nothing. Yeah, it's <laughs> just relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like being in college. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a fun way to live. It's, you know, you get paid to go out and play a game and compete. It's a good time when you, you know, when you win. <laughs> no, it's fun. Competition's always good. And what do you guys think you'd be doing if you didn't find poker? <laughs> probably play a lot of video games. I would. I don't know. Probably be a professional killer. I think. Rehab. <laughs> yeah, rehab is possible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Could be anything. Do you think a stripper? <laughs> Porn star? Something. Do you think poker is driving you uh, closer to rehab or keeping you away from rehab? Away. Away? Okay. The more time I spend at a poker table, the less time I spend at a blackjack or a craps table. How smooth it makes some drives me to rehab. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, man. I'll be your support group. Thank you. Who's been uh, some of the toughest players that you guys have faced, either online or live? God, I've played a lot of good players live, but the sickest player I've ever played live was uh, Vinny Vin. Guy raises every pot. He'll put you to a decision on every street. He's disgusting. And he makes you play bad. It's the only way to beat him. Uh, for me, it's a different person every day. It's like somebody who just kills you every day. It's like one guy at every table. Yeah, he just like he's, he's playing well against you. Some, some days, some people are good. Some days, oh, so many variables. And is there any? I kill myself <laughs> you, every day. Yes. <laughs> Is there anyone that you guys think that you might have uh, their number or you keep getting over on consistently? Yeah, there's people. There's definitely people that guys feel like, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I don't want to name people. No, <laughs> but just, you know, for me it's the OWGs. I, I, I love playing with OWGs because they just sit there and you take their money. It's OWG. Old white guys. Oh. You gotta love playing the old white guys. And uh, both of you must spend a lot of time in front of your computers playing uh, poker. What do you do, uh, you know, to keep you busy while you're playing? Are you always concentrating on the game? Uh, you know, you should probably say, I guess the right answer is I just sit there and play my tables and don't do anything else. But I'm a little bit, you know, too all over the place, a little bit too hyperactive for that. TV's going to my right. I've probably got a browser open to the left. I'm probably playing a video game somewhere on the screen as well, or Minesweeper or some shit. But it's, it's wrong. <laughs> but, you know, it's the era of multitasking, so what can you do? I just I'm just, just mad like that. It beats. And do all that stuff, too. <laughs> And I thought last time we talked, Tom, you were um, playing music yourself. Are you in a band now or still doing yeah, that I'm actively? I'm uh, doing like, music production stuff, making beats and stuff like that. And um, what's maybe the most extravagant thing that either of you guys have bought with your winnings? Uh, most thing, the most extravagant thing that I've purchased yet is a Rolex. Uh, it's a really nice watch. It costs an awful lot of money. I'm still nervous whenever I go out wearing it, but it's nice. But... Uh, I've got something targeted. If I if I hit it big, there's a there's a Maserati at win with my name on it. 
What about you, Tom? Um, <laughs> I probably spent more money on the spirit of Rhino than I have to show. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have one in particular that you like there, or just no, everybody? No, no, I, actually, I just like the drink there, and like hey, it's like yeah. a party. It's not even about the girls, unfortunately. I mean, it is at the time. But, <laughs> have you been known to make it rain there a few times? No, I don't. Like, I don't. I don't fucking <laughs> make it rain. That shit's fucking hilarious. Didn't though. I see you walking out of there with Pac-Man last week? <laughs> that shit's. And um, who's maybe? Uh, some of the interesting characters or some of the interesting stories that you've heard while you're sitting at the table or someone that you'd like to get to know maybe away from the tables? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. The most interesting people is everybody's interesting. Yeah, there's there's characters at every table. These are the disgusting, like, people that, like, are, like, there's something wrong with them, they're kind of, like, <laughs> that didn't come out. Just, like, they're sick like, or what? <laughs> there's just some, like, unhygienic... Like freak show at the table every once in a while. It's just like I'll remember for the rest of my life, or you know, eight, eight, <laughs> I brought it. What do you guys do if you are seated next to the smelly guy at the table, or is that typically one of yourselves? Could be. Well, if you don't know who the smelly guy at the table is, right? It's, it's you. So uh, you don't do anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I've, I've been lucky enough. I, I run good enough that I haven't run into that yet. But uh, maybe one day. You get nice all bad. Okay, so it's something like some ridiculous. That would be awful. Yeah, so you've never had that. You just kind of no. I've no, been like cool. I said. I run good, man. That is, that's that's um, it's a dealer or something. You're the oh, seat. that's awful. And you guys are pretty well known uh, on online forums and FCP in particular. What uh, advice would you have for some of the younger players that are considering following your paths and doing the same type of career? Save your money. Yeah. Don't blow all your money. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't play too much blackjack. Yeah. Unless you're running good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't uh, don't play minus EV games. Don't do not do what I do. Unless it's for fun. Well, so, oh, yeah, yeah. If you, if you got money to lose, go ahead. Throw it away. And do you guys have any predictions for the upcoming World Series? Bracelets all around. Yeah, for everybody one. that we know. No, no, no. If you had to pick one person that you had to choose that was going to win a bracelet, who would it be? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm going go to go with me. I'm going to go with me. I'm going to go with me. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get one. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck, guys. I hope to see you there. Thanks, man. Take it easy.